So now let's do the same thing, but let's go ahead and um, do it for tangent. So in this case, I'll have tangent of u minus v. So if we're going to go and subtract in this case, again, just following the formula, guys, tangent of u minus tangent of v all over 1 plus tangent of u tangent of v. So again, you have two angles and you have two triangles. But that's enough information for us, right? So let's plug it in. Tangent of u is 4 over negative 3, so negative 4 thirds. Tangent of v is 1 third, which is already given to us. All over 1 plus tangent of u, which is negative 4 thirds, times uh, tangent of v, which is pos positive 1 third. So I took my formula, and I just plugged in the information based on the two triangles that I had to create, right, based on my original information. So now let's simplify it. Now, I could multiply, I could find the LCD here, but I think for a lot of students it becomes a little bit easier to maybe simplify a little bit first. So since these have common denominators, guys, this isn't that crazy. Right? Negative 4 thirds minus 1 third is negative 5 thirds. Yes? Divided by 1, that turns into a minus 4 ninths. Right? No? Yeah? Huh? You, could, you mean you can make this over 9 over 9? But you still can't subtract. You've got to multiply those anyways. That's not 3 over 3. You can't, subtra you can't subtract until those are multiplied. You could do nine nine. Yeah, you could do 9 over 9. And that's fine. You could do 9 over 9 and then multiply by the reciprocal, right? Or, again, if you just don't like fractions, just multiply everything by 9. That's the common denominator of 3 and 9. So if I multiply by 9, 3 divides into 9 three times. 3 times negative 5 is a negative 15. Divided by 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times negative 4 ninths is a minus is negative 4, which gives me a negative 15 over 5, which is a negative 3. So you can see how everything simplifies out just to a basic number. It is.